Hello friends, this is Luz from Vintage Faith Journals. I hope you guys are all doing well, um, especially during this time. And um, I am back again to do a flip through of my March design team project for Lavender Blue. And I used her shabby vintage cats journal pages and ephemera okay and this time i did an altered file folder with the journal and i would just like to thank a few um, talented artists that have inspired me to try this and um, i know there's more than a few because i've seen um seen a bunch of people that have done this uh, altered file folders but i remember yvonne preston made has made this before um and uh, Girl on the Ridge, that's Lori, and Robin Dudley Howes, and uh, I think there's some others, but those are the ones I remember. So I just want to thank them for inspiring me to, to try this, and I really liked it. Um, so this file folder um, originally measures uh, 9 1⁄2 by 15, so they are the large ones, the long ones. So... Of course, it's folded in half, so now it me measures um, seven and a half by nine and a half. All right, so I distressed it around the edges, front and back. I stitched all around it to close it up. So then I have the pocket up here. Okay. So then, um, this is one of the bags from the kit, Lavender Blues Kit, Shabby Vintage Cats. That's one of the, the bags. Um, this is a an image from a book, a vintage book, but it's not too old. It's like from the 90s, and it's called Cats. <laughs> All right, so I have that in there. All right, so on the cover... I have a, a collage here with vintage music sheet as the background. I have um, this cardstock and it's a background page of cats. Um, this is not from the kit. This is from another um, printable artist on Etsy. I'll have to link that link below. And this here in the front is a journal card from the kit. Then I have a metal book plate here, um, cardstock. I typed fur baby with a little heart. Okay, I have this twine closure here. Okay, um, this is muslin behind the the card here, and I have uh, a little bowl pin here with a sterling silver cap charm. I have vintage buttons on the side, um, crochet trim on the spine. I have a, s a small doily here with eyelash trim, piece of burlap, a little piece of a doily, and a little piece of an applique. Okay, so let's open it up. So I lined the inside with this cotton fabric. So it's open on the top. So here I have a page from that vintage book. And it has some little um, like quips or sort of like poems about cats. And it's really, really cute. Um, and this uh, photo of, of this cute cat reaching up to touch the doorknob here. I really like that. The edges, I have pom-pom trim, front and back page. This is an altered um, envelope with the big window. So then I, I put some ribbon there, uh, crochet trim on the side. I have this little a kitty cat paper clip. That's the back of the envelope. This is a vintage playing card. 
Okay, and inside I have this journaling card. It's a page. Um, I cut it from a page from from the kit, from one of the pages. And this is a background print. Uh, lined paper. Tea dye paper. Eco dyed digital paper. Tea dyed. A stamp here. Okay, and here there's um, 72 pages. So these are all blank pages here um, to give you plenty of writing space. This is an eco dyed printable, and these are by um, Took's Craft Table. She's on Etsy. Stamping here on the bottom. Stamping. Stamping here. Another side of the altered envelope and another kitty clip. That's one of the journaling cards. Okay. And this is a little pocket. And this is one of the journaling cards from the kit. The back pocket. Okay, and then we have the journal back here. Okay, and this journal measures um, five by eight. So I have it tied here with this cat ribbon. This is one of the pages from the kit. This is um, two layers of cardstock and it's very sturdy. So I have crochet trim on the spine. This is a metal frame here. Um, it says my kitty with paw prints and you can take that out and replace it with the name of your cat or with any title. Okay. And to inside here, I have a burlap and lace pocket. This is one of the, um, this is from one of the pages from the kit, and I just cut um, a tag out of that page. This is a free printable. Um, this is a journaling card, and I just think it's so cute with the little girl and the little kitty cat sleep there. Oh, I lined it inside with more of that eco dyed paper, uh, digital, and muslin on the inside of the spine. And it's stitched all around the cover, and all the special papers from the kit are also stitched around the edge. That's one of the pages um, on vellum. Lined printable from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. That's a freebie on her blog. This is parchment paper. This is a printable from um, Antique Papery. One of the pages from the kit. And I have a scripture stamp here. Background page. Glassing bag with a scripture stamp. And this is cut from one of the pages in the kit. And okay. This is a calendar page that I folded. Um, I folded to make a pocket, and that's one of the journaling cards from the kit. There. This is um, lace coffee dye paper, a seat envelope. Okay, and I have a journaling card in it. And this is vintage music paper. 
one of the pages from the kit here. This is a um, flip up or a tip in. This is one of the pages from um, the vintage book. And it has some more little quips and quotes here. Very cute. And uh, the, the journal has 100 pages front and back. Background page, background page. I have to put the link um, for these background pages. Okay. Page from the kit. Printable here from Artie Mays, Ledger paper. Um, one of the pages from the kit. This is the middle of the signature. Another kitty clip. And this bag here is from the kit. Okay, and I just made a little um, writing space from one of the pages from the cat book. Okay, a piece of tea dye paper. Stamping there. A tag I cut from one of the pages. An envelope that I made from one of the background pages. And that's a photo from the cat book. Well, an image. And there's a little quote on the back. That's from the kit. So, so cute. The other side of the calendar page, and that's a journaling card from the kit. I didn't overpack this journal because, of course, um, you would like to put photos and other things of your own cat. So I didn't want to make it too fat. So this is one of the envelopes from the kits. Stamping. I just love this image. Okay, and that's it. The last page. And I have a little policy envelope here and another journaling card. Okay, and I have something in here. A postcard size journaling card that I cut from one of the pages. All right. Okay, and that's it. Um, I will be back soon because I have a couple of other journals that I'm working on and uh, probably by tomorrow I'll upload a video of another journal and I do plan to do a tutorial soon uh, most likely next week and I will announce what that's going to be for in my next video okay so thank you so much for watching um, you all stay well and healthy, and God bless you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.